Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So recently, I've been so bored with the lack of content on Global that I decided to finally finish up my Int LR Piccolo. I mean, this guy was just sitting in my box at SA10 with no orbs for many, many years. But now, he's rainbowed, SA20, and ready to go. So in today's video, we're going to find out whether or not this dude truly is the worst LR in the entire game. I mean, it's actually a question that comes up quite a bit in my streams and videos, and people will usually refer to the LR androids, or even some summonable LRs like Broly, uh, Majin Vegeta, Trunks, so on and so forth, and I'm like, guys, did you forget that this guy exists? Because he is really bad. In fact, in my mind, the debate was always between the Tech Hercule or the Int Piccolo for the title of Worst LR, but now that Hercule has an Extreme Z Awakening and is actually very solid, it's gotta be this guy, right? It's gotta be Piccolo, and I don't think it's even that close. So I guess the real question for this video is not whether or not he's the worst, because like I said, I do think he is, but rather, how bad is he? Okay, so before we get into the gameplay, before we get into the showcase, let's quickly check out his details, starting with his stats. And the first thing you might notice is that for a LR free to play or summonable, his attack is very, very low, man. 15,030 is actually the second lowest attack stat of all LRs in the game. The only LR that has a lower attack stat is B-Pan at around 14,000. But then his defense stat is extremely high. 18,100 is the highest attack stat in the entire game of any unit. So I can see him becoming like one of, if not the best tank in the entire game once he gets an Extreme Z Awakening. But obviously right now with um, his current passive, he's not there, but there's a lot of potential there. So at least he has the defense going for him. From there, let's move on to his leader skill, which is HP plus 150%. And that's it. I mean, for, for HP alone, that's pretty solid, but no key, no attack, no defense, obviously not a usable leader. His super attacks, 12 key, just colossal damage, 18 key, mega colossal damage, no additional effects, and then his passive is defense plus 10,000, and then allies defense plus 5,000. So at the very least, he's got, that, you know, a little bit of uh, support, right? But it's still very little. It's only a flat 5,000 boost, and for himself, he's getting 15,000 defense, but that's it, no attack, no additional details, no additional effects, anything like that. And then for his links, Prodigies, Rainiacs, Gaze of Respect, uh, Shocking Speed, Experienced Fighters, First Awakened, and Legendary Power. You know what, not the worst link set, there's some decent links in there, but it's also not awesome. And his categories are Namekians, Worthy Rivals, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Battle of Wits. Now for Namekians, he doesn't really fit into the team right now because the main leader is the Fizz Piccolo, and obviously you can't run them on the same team. So for this video, we are going to be using a Majin Buu Saga slash Battle of Wits team, and he's linked up with the LR um, Goku and Vegeta, and they actually share three links with each other, Shocking Speed, Experience Fighters, and also Legendary Power once they launch a super, right? So he's starting off with 94,600 or uh, 640 defense, which is actually not bad. It's actually higher than I thought it would be, but of course that's a testament to his super high defense stat. The more interesting thing to pay attention to is how much damage he's gonna be able to do here. Okay, so no support on rotation. We're taking some good damage or like very little damage there. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> Under 170% leads, right? 170% attack from both the Vegitos. He got just over 500,000 attack. Okay. Okay, so so hopefully at this point you guys kind of understand why I call him the worst LR in the game. Because his offense is just atrocious, man. Like, that is so, so bad. Um, and like even though his defense is higher than I thought, it's still not amazing. Like 94,000 is easily achievable by many units in this game. Even like a lot of free-to-play units have higher defense than that. So even though it did surprise me, 
even though it is higher than I thought, it's still nothing crazy, right? As I said, with an Extreme Z Awakening, he does have the potential to be an insane tank, because he does have the highest defense stat of any unit in the game. Um, but yeah, in his current state, he is just bad. So now we have a support on rotation, right? 30% attack and defense from the trunks, and his defense is up to 118,000. Pretty good, pretty good. Now let's see what kind of effect that has on his offense though. Okay, can he put out a little bit more? Can we can we actually kill the Goku? Can we kill the Goku? Okay, so 724,000. Can we get a crit? Ooh, additional, okay. And we're doing 16,000 damage, wow. Man, that is, that is rough. I mean, at this point, you guys have probably seen plenty. The only thing you have to see left, the, the, the last thing you got to see before we end the showcase is uh, his 18 key super, I guess, right? So once we get that 18 key super, I'm going to call it a video. Um, ooh, we can actually, we can actually do it next turn. So I'm just going to give him one orb here. We're going to save all those int orbs for the piccolo. And... Uh, we should be able to get that 18 key super next turn, especially with the Kid Buu on rotation. So yeah, this is going to be a relatively short showcase. I might do like one or two rotations after that, but uh, for the most part, there's not much else to see, right? He's not going to be stacking attack or defense. He's not going to be getting any kind of additional boost when you're below a certain amount of HP or a certain amount of turns have passed, anything like that. Of course, he is a very old unit. Oh, crap. We killed the Goku, so the orb's gonna the the, the board's gonna change now. Uh, ooh, still a good amount of orbs actually. Hold on, um, that's an 18 key super. Okay, so we got lucky. That's actually 20 key. So we have 20 key going here. We got 50% attack and defense from the kid Boo. He has 134,000 defense, which, as I said, pretty impressive for a unit as old as he is. Okay, so we're not taking damage there. 1.36 million with 20 key, 50% support. Got a crit there too. I guess that wasn't awful. I guess that wasn't awful. It's just when you look at like what free to play units these days are doing, like free to play, you know, story units like non LRs are doing, it really pales in comparison. So. You know, to answer the question I asked in the very beginning of this video, right? Like I already said, um, I, I knew that he was the worst. Like, at least in my opinion, he is the worst. But the, the real question was like, just how bad is he? Like, is he is he really unusable? And I wouldn't say that at all. He's not unusable. I just don't see a reason to run him over like basically any other free-to-play LR or like any other new free-to-play unit in general in the game right now. Like all the new free-to-play units we got from the Worldwide Celebration, are better than he is, right? Oob, uh, the Goku, the, especially the Hercule and Boo, who are insane. So, yeah, he's not unusable. He definitely can be used. He definitely, you know, will still, you know, help you in like some of the easier events. Like I wouldn't run him on like Super Battle Road or anything like that. But if you run like a Dokkan event or something like that, like he, he, he can still do things, but is he worth the orbs to get him rainbowed? Is he worth the investment, time investment to like, you know, get him to SA20 and all that stuff? No, definitely not. Like, you can spend a lot less time and just use any other free-to-play unit that we recently got and get much better results. So, yeah, point being, right, what we, we, what we set out to do is figure out how bad he was. Not as bad as I thought he would be. But definitely not great it's still pretty bad okay so let's do one more rotation after this i'm gonna save some um orbs here for him so if i just give vegeto those give this Vegeta. Ah, goku might be dead though hopefully he's not we might just kill him here but yeah we're gonna do one attack maybe get like a 24k super or something like that I see him as like max you know output potential and then I think that's gonna be enough. I think you guys don't need to suffer through this anymore. Um, the only reason I did this video was because I was like, yo, I put in all this time, I put in all this effort to you know, get this guy done. Might as well get something out of it. Might as well feel like it was worth my time investment and my orb investment. And obviously, it was not. 
Okay, it was... <laughs> it was definitely not worth the orbs, or the time, or anything like that. But at the very least, we have this video, so... That's something. Okay, yeah, so with a 30% support, 24 key super, 1.33 million. The, the attack animation, actually, is kind of dope. Not gonna lie, I kind of I enjoy that super attack animation. So, that's also something. That's also something that's going for him. So, there you go, guys. That is the Piccolo Showcase. Uh, roughly, how long has it been? At least three years, right? At least three years after the fact. Maybe even longer. Because he was the first World Tournament reward unit. I don't remember exactly when he became available, though. So, if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. I gotta go check. But, uh... That's, that's, that's gonna be it. I mean, with an Extreme Z Awakening, I do think he's gonna be very good. I think defensively, he's gonna be quite insane, actually. And then offensively, as long as they give him, you know, like a 50% plus uh, boost, attack boost, he should be putting out some decent damage. His attack stat, once again, is still pretty low for an LR, but all things considered, you know, including non-LRs, is actually not a bad attack stat. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to a very good Extreme Z Awakening for him at some point in the future. Right now... Just leave him alone. If you guys have Piccolo in your box, you know, Unawakened, SA1, just leave him that way until he gets that easy A, because there's just no reason to, like, waste your time with him. Unless you're super poor like I was, right? Because the reason I worked on him was because there was literally nothing else to do. So I guess if you're in the same situation, then might as well, right? You're not, you're not going to lose anything. So, yeah, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. Okay, no, really last turn now. Okay, we're, we're out of here after this. While this is going on, I'm going uh, to do my sign off. So thank you guys so much for... Oh, you know what? Token attack, hold on. Token attack. All right. Yo, did we just take a normal from Super Saiyan Blue Goku for double digits? You know, he he might actually be usable on Super Battle Road. You just got to be a little bit careful with him. Um, Supers will probably still kick his ass. And his damage output is not going to help you. Like, this guy has under... 700,000 attack right now. <laughs> that was 696,000 attack. A crit though. Ooh, additional. Okay. You know what? You add those two up. That's like 1.4 mil. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. How much? Oh my god, we almost died. Um, yeah, like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Um, until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Africa Media. Signing out.